Right, some doctors say they're seeing an increase in cases of something called myopia. Dr. Selena Chan joins us now to talk about that. First, can you explain what exactly is myopia? Myopia is also called nearsightedness. It is a condition when the eyeball is longer than it should be and distance objects are blurry. And it is also the most common vision issue among children and young adults today. And it is with this pandemic, it's also getting worse. Um, specifically in the Bay Area, we are seeing a 30 to 40 percent increase in the number of diagnosed cases. Myopia um, can have a long, lifelong impact on the child's eye health. If left untreated, myopic children may be at a significantly increased risk for more serious um, and severe sight-threatening diseases such as glaucoma, cataracts, and retinal detachment. And talk more about what's causing the increased number of cases. You, you mentioned the pandemic. Yes. Um, so during this pandemic, the myopic risk factors increase um, during, uh, due to more time spent indoors and more frequent use of screen time among the school age children. We are now getting data to understand the impact from the last year. And a recent study found that shelter in place during the pandemic created a significant increase in, in myopia for children, especially among those ages six to eight years old. In our practice alone, in the past two months since school started to reopen, we are actually seeing a threefold increase in the number of children coming in for the first time for myopia management. And for our existing patients who are already myopic and not under treatment, we also seeing as dramatic increase in the prescription. And that's a big increase that you mentioned there. What are some yes. warning signs that parents should look out for? So the parents should be seeing if the kids are squinting when they're looking far away, if they, uh, if the self-confidence is also decreased when they are uh, struggling in school, with activities uh, due to the poor vision. Um, if the child is not seeing the board in school, like I said, missed the ball, not performing well. Um, this could have an effect on the self-esteem and confidence. And let's talk prevention. Are there things parents can do to either stop or slow myopia in their children? Yes, the good news is myopia is treatable. For prevention, I, um, I health often gets overlooked when we um, talk about the health and wellness of our kids but it is among the most important. And following months of shelter in place, it is more important than ever that parents proactively take the steps to have the children, um, children's eyes checked for myopia before it has a chance of becoming worse. And like I mentioned earlier, prevention is the key here. We offer these four tips for parents with kids. One is to reduce the screen use. Two is to take frequent breaks when they study. Three, have good posture. And four is to increase the outdoor time. And I would like to elaborate on the outdoor time. There are numerous studies showing outdoor time can delay or even prevent the development of myopia in children. And two to three hours of outdoor playtime a day is what I usually recommend um, to the parents and to the kids too. This was difficult with the kids doing online school but with some schools back in session already, and the summer is coming up soon, um, now is the time to schedule activities to have your child head outside. Get outdoors. And our, mm -hmm. Yes. And then for those um, children who are already nearsighted and progressing, at our office, we use the proprietary system that we are seeing a 78% decrease in the child's myopia progression. And um, if your child's if your children are experiencing issues with their vision, I encourage parents to visit treehouseeyes.com to schedule a free myopia consultation. All right, Dr. Selena Chan, thank you so much for this very important information for parents and their children. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me today.